Hello and welcome to Early Bright Live. It's been quite the year and a half for us all, and as we attempt to make our way through it and get out the other side, I'm thrilled to share this live version of my album Early Bright with you. It's just a small token of appreciation for all your support throughout these strange and trying times. Earlier this summer, I gathered with some of my friends and favourite collaborators, Jenna Moynihan on the fiddle, Kyle Sanna on guitar, and Owen Marshall on bouzouki and harmonium. We spent a few days out in the countryside, hanging out, getting reacquainted and making music. It was sheer bliss. Now, as the world slowly opens, we look forward to the day we will play for you in person once again. But till then, I hope you will enjoy this concert, filmed on an early summer's evening between Magic Hour and Nightfall. This is Early Bright Life. Thank you. 
I made Early Bright at a time of considerable change in my life. One of those changes was moving from my long time home in Philadelphia to Vermont. The move required many long drives between the two places, providing ample opportunity to think about things. But on each journey, as I got closer to my new home, I would notice a sign saying welcome to Orwell. It became a marker of sorts for me, letting me know how much further I had left to drive. But perhaps more importantly, it came to represent a signalling of change, an invitation to the unknown. I looked forward to seeing it, and to this day I still smile each time I pass that sign. Here is Welcome to Orwell.
I wrote this next tune as I was thinking about how, even as life changes, we're never terribly far from the threads that bind us to our past. I'm not entirely sure why, but this thought came in the form of a waltz. Perhaps a mixture of nostalgia and acceptance. This is Everything Always Was.
When I was writing for the album, I came across a story about a whale swimming out in the ocean, all alone, singing its song at a frequency of 52 hertz, a frequency no other whale has the ability to hear. I was struck by the image of this lone creature swimming endlessly in the depths, calling out in vain for a response that would never come. This got me thinking about our own need to connect and the lengths we're willing to go to make that connection with others. Little could I have realised how we would all soon come to experience a profound sense of disconnection. And, in a way, we all became the loneliest whale. This is 52 Hertz. Thank you. 
Well, we're nearing the end of tonight's concert, but before we finish, I want to reintroduce you to these wonderful musicians. Owen Marshall on the bazooki and harmonium, Jenna Moynihan on the fiddle, and Kyle Sanna on guitar. Also, I'd like to thank Dan Jensen who filmed tonight's show. And finally, thanks to all of you for tuning in and inviting us into your homes. Till we meet again, take care.